about a year ago i've been wanted to do this project uh, i wanted to um, do an ld moss and i've been putting this project in hold for over a year and a half so i decided to do an ld moss amplifier i wanted to get it i wanted to do it for from 160 meters down to uh 10 to either six meters or not I'm still debating if I'm going to do it up to 6 meters. Most likely I will because the whole board is there. Uh, and right now I'm making uh, the PC boards. I'm doing the etching right now. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys I'm going to start doing this amplifier from zero and hopefully it comes out well it's gonna take me a little bit of probably about a month to do it so just wanted to show you guys the process of uh building a little bit of your own pc boards this one is almost done as you guys can see the copper is almost dissolving from the chemicals so the other one is basically like that that's how I'm going to do it. And uh, we'll see. I think this one is done. So I have to remove it. So I, I add the second PC board into the solution. This process should, sh shouldn't take more than three minutes or so, three, four minutes. So keep on moving them so the process is easier and faster as well but yeah as you guys can see the solution is working it won't take long so this is the part where the bias is gonna be uh, um, set up the blank spot that I have in here is where the, um, attenuator is going to be. You guys can see that's, that's coming up pretty good, pretty fast. Now the solution is dissolving the copper pretty good. So, in a minute or two, it's been a minute and 14 seconds in. So... It works pretty good. I tried a couple of times uh, different solutions. I didn't like them. It was uh, really removing and different paper too when I was doing the toner. I struggle a little bit with this. I haven't done this since I was in, in the school. <laughs> Over 30 years, 30 plus years that I haven't done this. So... We used to do it with vinegar back in the day. Vinegar, salt, and uh, a little bit of acetone. Chloride salt too. It's almost done. Just waiting for the last part. So just want to show you guys uh, the project that I'm doing. It's going to be for an LD Moss. This amplifier is going to be for myself because I've been wanting to do something for myself in a long time. And um, some of my mentors, they taught me about LD Maz. Uh, one guy, they used to work in Motorola here in Illinois, in Chamber, Illinois. Very, very smart person. Done thousands of amplifiers. Um... Uh, He's one of my mentors, and he's been guiding me through amplifiers for a long time, so I'm really happy for this. Two minutes and 51 seconds, and I will remove it. It's done. Stay tuned, guys. Uh, this is a project, like I said, it's going to be about a month process. going to put pieces of uh, videos and the process of the progress that I'm going to be doing in it. Uh, very small box. I don't want to put put it in a big box uh, I struggle a little bit also getting a, a box from ICA manufacturing but uh, 
I was able to find a friend that works in a factory where they make those boxes, so he made it for me. This is the process of uh, itching the copper. Dry it out, and you guys can see copper is gone. So, stay tuned, guys. Seventy-three.